My deck already looked bad when we moved in a few years ago. I was told that it was too far gone, that it would need to be replaced. The railing was wobbly and too low for code. The spindles were too far apart for code because kids can squeeze through those gaps. And the wood appeared to be rotted and beyond repair. A few years later, I was still procrastinating on what to do with it. But then I found a video of Ron Hazelton refinishing a similarly rough looking deck. And that made me wonder if I could do the same thing with this one too. So I thought I'd give it a try. First, my wife and I started by shoring things up. That didn't do much. These might have been holding it up. I mean, it kind of pulled it down. Yeah, better than it was. To fix the wobbly railings, we installed these railing brackets. I skipped filming that because honestly, they were kind of a brain teaser for me. But the Fine Home Building YouTube channel has a great explanation of how these work, and they do work great. At one point, we had to get some huge boards to replace the top of the deck railings, and Next Level Carpentry's long board truck trick was a great help for that. These are 16 foot boards, and they did absolutely fine. To finish the railing, we did one section at a time, taking off the old spindles, then adding the new ones at the higher height. This felt safer than taking the whole structure off at once. So with the repair phase complete, I started cleaning the wood with a pressure washer. I pressure washed both the old wood and the new wood here because it helps open the pores on the new wood to help it accept stain. Looking good so far. A little mini review here. This electric pressure washer came highly recommended by Young House Love, which my wife loves, so we gave it a shot. You can tell this machine isn't some powerhouse. I'm guessing there are far larger machines that would just blow through a deck like this. But considering the price and how small it is for storage, it was well worth it. Especially because I can put it down in the basement instead of out in the garage in the winter. There's no worries about gas in the house, no putting antifreeze in it to keep it from freezing and busting open. This thing is awesome. I'd highly recommend it for light occasional work like this. Pressure washing's done, it looks great. It's tempting to just leave it like this, except for I don't want the wood to go unprotected. I'm sure it'll last longer if we get a coat of stain on there. Of course, now it's mid-October, and while it's not so hot anymore, it's also raining almost every single day, and it's starting to dip below freezing. So the pressure's on to get this done. Sometimes it's a tough call on whether you should tape or not. I think in this case, it's a really easy tape job and I really need to move fast when putting these coats down. So I feel pretty good about this decision right now. So I ended up choosing Bare Deck Plus Solid Color Waterproofing Wood Stain for this because A, it was highly recommended by Consumer Reports, and B, the thicker coverage is supposed to last longer than more translucent stains. I also was a little worried that the new wood wouldn't match the old wood once the stain was on it, so having that thicker stain helped to make sure that that wasn't an issue at all here. This thing keeps coming loose from my pole, so one trick for this is to just tape it on. Now it'll have to beat that tape if it wants to spin off. Good enough. After many rushed nights, I wrapped this up on a Sunday night in the dark and not a day too soon because this is what the deck looked like later that week. I didn't even get the tape off yet. I was right to bust my tail. I barely beat the snow.
So you notice here that the color is different. That's because the original red was way too red. I didn't figure that out until I was done with the first coat. I was kind of hoping that it was gonna dry darker maybe. So we decided to go with a different color. Even though it meant more work, it looks much better for this house. So this was a ton of work, but replacing the whole deck would have been too. This was far cheaper and it kept this perfectly good wood out of the landfill for now. In any case, I'm glad it's done. Thanks for watching.